So you've been thinking about making the switch from controller to a keyboard and mouse for Fortnite. Well, brothers and sisters, you have stumbled across the correct video for you. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to get better on keyboard and mouse. This includes building, this includes combat, this includes the switch from controller, keyboard and mouse. So ladies and gentlemen, welcome yourselves back to Twiz Gamers. As always, it's your boy, did a did a DJ Lordzy inside the place and let's get right into this video. Wanna join my V-Bucks giveaway? <laughs> nah, guys, I'm not really doing a V-Bucks giveaway. It's just funny because most Fortnite videos start with that now, so I've got to be relevant, you know? But guys and girls, if this video does help you in any way, please feel free to subscribe, smash that like button, or even leave a comment. I'll be responding to a load of you guys, helping you out if you're having any issues or you've got any questions. So making the switch from controller to keyboard and mouse, if you don't have the thousands of pounds to purchase yourself a PC that can play uh, Fortnite in 4K or above, then you can literally plug in your keyboard and mouse to your PlayStation or your Xbox. A lot of you already knew that, but for those who didn't, there you go. So once you have plugged in your keyboard and mouse to your PlayStation or your Xbox, or even if you're just playing on PC after switching from a console to PC, the first thing that you must do, and this is an absolute must, is go directly to your key bindings. So firstly, you go to settings in the top right, then click settings again, go over to this tab right here where the keys are, and then the idea of keybinds is to change the keys to make it more efficient. And each pro player or even streamers have different key bindings. That's very important. You're more than welcome to copy mine. I'm showing them on screen right now. I'm also about to show Tfus and Ninjas. Now the reason each pro player and streamers and content creators who use PC and mouse have different key bindings is because it has to tailor to you. What you would personally find easier, some people have longer fingers, some people have weak uh, pinky fingers so they won't be able to hold shift to run. And just getting the idea of what buttons you would be pressing and how quickly you can press them close to WASD where you move. You want close buttons so you can quickly press stuff when you're in the middle of combat or building. But another tip is once you change them, you must adapt to those ones you've changed even for a little bit. Otherwise your muscle memory is gonna start going and it does take practice once you're, if you're a beginner especially, it takes practice with your new key bindings, how to quickly press and what you're pressing and when. So it does take practice, it does take time. My only recommendation is to not keep changing it every single day or every week. Um, you want to start adapting to them and then you can make slow changes. So recently I changed my floor to V instead of uh, B because it was a little bit too far out my reach and that makes it much easier for me to put the floors down. And yeah, it takes me a couple days to adapt to my new key bindings, but it is practice. It literally is practice. You have to uh, get your brain to memorize which buttons you've allocated where. So my next tip is mouse sensitivity and this one is crucial. It really is. And again, if you're a beginner to keyboard and mouse, especially with the mouse, then you're going to want it much lower for your accuracy and then you can slowly increase it as time goes on. This gives you more performance and how quickly you can aim at somebody uh, as you know what sensitivity is. But if you have a mouse with DPI built in, you can actually control it on the mouse itself. So I generally have it lower at 0.16 and then you can slowly increase it over time. But I just use my DPI um, to increase it on the mouse itself. 
Again, that's something that tailors specifically to you and you're just gonna have to play around with it until you get the sensitivity right for you. So now you've got the right key bindings and you've got your mouse sensitivity set to how you want it. The next step that we're gonna be focusing on is practicing your building. As you know, compared to other FPSs on PC or using keyboard and mouse, Fortnite requires you to know a lot about building. So what you wanna do is boot up Playgrounds. I'm so glad this is a permanent mode now. So you go into Playground, you can go to Wailing Woods, you can go to Tilted Towers. I like to go to Tilted Towers um, just to practice building up there because I like to go there a lot anyway for combat uh, in the actual game. So you can still get like quadruple the amount of materials in Playground. So you've still got plenty of materials to get there. Doesn't have to be in Wailing Woods, but that's also a good place to just get infinite amount of wood to be honest um so you want to boot up playground you want to get your materials you've got your key binding set you've got your mouse set and what you're going to do is practice these techniques that will really help you begin to get the hang of different different building types so the first step is building your ramps Start off doing, if you're a very, very beginner to mouse and keyboard, you want to start off by placing your stairs, then your wall, then your stairs, then your wall for the two layer uh, protection on the stairs. And you don't have to worry about running whilst placing at first, you just want to get the hang of it. But once you do this over and over and over and over again, you could, you could literally get the hang of it within the first game in Playgrounds. It's pretty quick. Uh, every, of course, that experience tailors to everybody differently. But once you start getting the hang of placing your stairs, then wall, then stairs, then wall, you can then move on to holding shift. So running at the same time whilst placing it. Then you want to advance onto placing two uh, stairs and walls right next to each other, the double ramp. And then after that, you want to practice placing your triple uh, layer wall uh, ramps. So you could do stairs, wall, floor, floor, stairs, wall, whichever combination you like the most when you're placing. But just practice it like don't jump straight into the deep end because the odds are you're not going to do it correctly the first time. It takes practice. That's the only time I'm going to say that word right there as you guys know that. But keep repeating it to yourselves. Slowly advance as you get uh, better and better. And just get used to your key bindings. That's the most crucial part. Your key bindings. Getting the muscle memory you need to be able to quickly place stuff down and you'll slowly but surely get better and better as time goes on so now the next technique that I'm gonna show you is placing making like a fort a really tall fort this is incredible practice you place your four walls all around you you place your stairs and then you repeat that over and over and over again this is the best method at getting faster at building this one right here and you just want to go as high as you can with the materials you have and honestly this is the best practice that I could have possibly done using uh, switching over from controller to keyboard and mouse I've done this so many times it's ridiculous uh, I'm just slowing it down uh, on this one to show you guys how to exactly do it some people like to place their floors as well but that is great practice for getting the speed of your building that is so great and once you're at the top you want to practice editing that's right also editing is very important in Fortnite and getting the speed of your edits is important so what you can do when you're at the very top of your tower you can just edit the stairs below you all the way back down to the bottom get more materials and repeat this process all over again so not only does this help with the speed of your building and editing you also get practice and muscle memory with your key bindings this is so so important and just practice this over and over and over again now the ramps and the fort building are the two best for you to practice there are more methods there's one called freestyling building like freestyle building you literally go up on your ramps you can start building off it in different directions placing floors you're literally just building um you have the intention in your head so let's say you build upwards then you start going ramps upright and then you start placing floors all along then you go right then you're just going to use that building practice again just apply all the techniques in into one massive uh, freestyle building session. That is incredible help and it definitely helped me. Now, of course, combat is also crucial. 
crucial in Fortnite. You need to get the kills to get the win. So this was the hardest part about um, moving from controller to keyboard and mouse because you have to be able to get your accuracy and speed correct at the same time. So what I like to do is place a wall in Tilted Towers, uh, make a little gate and then what you want to do is just shoot all the little things like signs, you want to shoot the barriers, you want to shoot anything small or something you've got in mind. You just want to practice with all different weapons shooting these in playground. Just run, uh, get, get get cover, reload, imagine these are actual people in the game. You just want to practice getting your like reloading down whilst dodging down. You want to hide behind walls before you shoot your next target and this is great practice. There are other methods you can use like going into Call of Duty on PC and practice uh, fighting against bots on there but that's very different to how Fortnite works and this is my best recommendation. Besides diving straight into it and into a solo match or squad games or 50 vs 50 is another great one but it's a limited time game mode of course just over and over again you're gonna get better and better but if you want practice offline without ruining your rankings this is a great way for you to practice because the only difference between this uh, and people in the game is these aren't moving targets so you're gonna have to adapt yourself to people who are actually moving of course but this is still a great way to get your speed and accuracy up to date especially for beginners so guys and girls i hope this video here did help you or makes you want to move the switch over and let me just give you some advice right now this is my personal opinion of course but for building PC uh, keyboard and mouse is so much better for me but when it comes to combat I prefer my controller it's it's 50 50 they're both really good tools for playing Fortnite but obviously some people prefer one to the other but the 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 switch to keyboard and mouse is so efficient it really is it's really worth it if you're looking to get into a competitive scene and trust me it does help out a lot so guys and girls, if this video did help you today, please drop a like. Make sure to share the video with a friend if they're trying to play on PC or keyboard and mouse. Um, if you guys subs could subscribe, we do live streams, giveaways, so much stuff. Making lots of content on this channel here. So please make sure to subscribe with push notifications on. Also guys, we dropped the merch store. So if you are if you represent Gamers Uniting, no matter what console you're on, then head over to twizzleet.com forward slash shop and you can use the discount code twiz to get five percent off we've got fantastic merch great quality great designs super fashionable and i love the new merch to bits so go over there and check that out but ladies and gentlemen thank you so much for watching it has been your boy did it did it dj lordsy inside the place twiz clan's also on the grind we got our esports teams up and running so if you want to go check out the twiz elite youtube channel or the instagram it's at twiz elite so guys Thank you, have a fantastic day and peace out.